Hey, this is the first video out of two to show you how to include in the model that we have been working with the steel reinforcement. In the first video, we are going to show how to define the, the reinforcement geometry, then how to uh, define the new material properties for the steel reinforcement as well as the cross-section definition. In the second video, as well as in the last example, we are going to see how to mesh the new geometry the linear analysis and then some results interpretation. Now we can open our model, our plain concrete beam model. Open, go to the folder. There we have the, the model that we were working with. We can just activate uh, the geometries and deactivate the mesh. Then, what we are going to see next is how to introduce the geometry of the steel reinforcement. In our case, if uh, we remember the geometry or the arrangement of the reinforcement, we need to uh, introduce or create as many lines as uh, different sections of steel reinforcement that we have. In our case, we have six in total six different sections of reinforcement. We have three different for the top reinforcement and three different more for the bottom reinforcement. What we are going to do now is use a built-in feature in the Diana environment. This feature is a, is a specific approach to treat with the reinforcement. In that case, we uh, are you going to use what is called uh, or is known as embedded reinforcement approach. What, is, what does it mean? It means that when we have our final shape or final mesh of our uh, concrete beam with the reinforcement, we, don't, we are not going to have a specific elements for the steel reinforcement. So the steel is going to be embedded into the concrete elements. So we are going to have only concrete elements for our beam. What Diana internally does is to modify the different cross sections or the different concrete elements surrounding our steel to have into consideration the increase in the stiffness or the increase in the stiffness due to the presence of the amount of steel. For sure, you can get extra information about this feature or this uh, way to treat uh, the reinforcement in the finite element models in the Diana documentation. So what we need to do then is to show or tell Diana where is our reinforcement in order to allow uh, the software to know which elements and in which part or uh, in which part of the element it has to modify the stiffness and consider the presence of the steel. So we are going to create different geometries, lines, as we did for the concrete, uh, in the specific position of our steel reinforcement. The process we are going to follow for the creation of the different steel reinforcement is the same as we did for the concrete beam. We have to create lines, geometry, but now we are going to start for the top left, but now we have to define the position the exact position of the steel reinforcement. So the second is 9 meters, 0, 3, 0. Then we can continue. In that case, we start from 9, if you remember, in absolute coordinates. But here we have the center of gravity of the total amount of reinforcement a bit lower than the before than the member before. So 17, 0, 29, 0. Then as you can see we have already two of out of three parts of the top reinforcement and we can proceed with the next ones. So we are done with the creation of the different geometries, with the different shapes that we need to proceed with the steel reinforcement incorporation to the model. 
we hide the grid, we can see as we have at the center, or concrete beam or plain concrete beam, and then we have three lines on the top and three other lines on the, at the bottom that defines our steel reinforcement. Then it's time to create the material properties for the new steel. If you remember, as we did with concrete, we would model materials and add new material. Here again, as we said before, as we did before for concrete, we are going to use a linear elastic uh, material properties. Then we go with first, we define a name, frame of reinforcement, EL from elastic. And here in the convict box, we need to choose reinforcement and pile foundations. The steel design codes is uh, mainly meant for uh, steel as construction material, not as reinforcement. So it's important to choose the reinforcement and pile foundations. As I said, we can select different material models here, but we are going to stick to the linear elasticity. We don't need to consider any effect uh, of bonding, design, uh, well, anything of this uh, aspect. So we can proceed, okay. And then we need to define the only property that we need, that is the modulus of elasticity. Again, remember about the units. We are used to work with megapascals, so we need to add six more zeros. We close. You can see here that we have the detailed properties of the material. We have now two materials, the concrete and the reinforcement steel. Now we can create the geometries. Again, model element geometries, add element geometry. In the window that has pop up, we need to fill the name. We have uh, two different kinds of reinforcement, so we have, we have one section with 8 uh, feet 20 and then we have another section with 2 feet 20. So we are going to fill first the 8 uh, feet 20. We are going to name like that. And here we need to select the target uh, shape. As I said before, uh, we are going to use uh, embedded reinforcement. So we need to check here reinforcement lines. So. Uh, checking this option, we tell to Diana that the different uh, shape lines must uh, have, a, have not to be meshed during the meshing process. So the, them has been uh, has uh, must be considered as a reinforcement, as a bed reinforcement. So are going to be utilized to modify the concrete elements instead. Bar reinforcement. Then we can proceed. Exactly, here we can define embedded and different options to include bond slip. But for our case, we are going to use fully embedded. And here we define the area, the total area. Close. And then we are ready to create the second steel geometry. Again, reinforcement lines, bar reinforcement, and then fully embedded on the new area. Until here, the first video about the reinforced concrete beam model. We have seen how to define the different reinforcement geometries the creation of the material properties for the embedded reinforcement, and then the assignation of the cross-section definitions. In the next video, we are going to mesh our model, send to the computational core the linear analysis, and then get the results and have, and have some, interpretation, some graphical interpretations of the last ones. Thank you very much and see you soon.